the bishop of Enugu Diocese, the bishop of Fadeji Kembaka, has banned priests, Catholic priests, from conducting crusades in the whole of Enugu Diocese, including also the parish where Fadeji Kembaka has his adoration ministry before he recently went into the monastery. What might have caused this ban? Why is the bishop going after crusades, especially in this Christmas period, that many parishes and towns and villages do conduct crusades? We will get to the bottom of this, but before we dig in, we ask you please kindly like this video, share it among your contacts and friends, let it go viral. And again, please do subscribe to our channel. The Catholic Bishop of Enugu Diocese, His Lordship Kalistu Sonaga, has banned priests from Enugu Diocese from conducting crusades in their parishes. Bishop Onaga announced the ban in his homely at the ordination of 26 priests and the celebration of 50 years anniversary of the Sacred Heart Seminary in Sude in Enugu. He charged the priests to organize retreats for their parishioners and pay greater attention to prayers and not hold Crusades. Onaga, who was celebrating his 55th alma mater, warned priests against forming prayer groups, but to take their members to approve prayer places like Ugudenso Monastery and others. Now, two things are kind of appearing here. First, he warned priests to take their members to approved prayer places like Ugudenso, but not to form prayer groups. Prayer groups here, you will see that is referring to the kind of prayer group that Fadeji Kembaka was running in Enugu State, which is the Adoration Ministry Enugu, Nigeria. Amen. So he's now telling other priests, don't go that direction. Don't begin to form adoration ministries. No. Instead, you can carry all the people, go to an approved pilgrimage center. One of them he mentioned is Ugudenso. So you pray with them there, let them all go back to their homes. Don't build any structure. Don't consecrate any worshiping place. Don't build your own adoration ground. Why? Why is this adoration aspect of the Catholic Church becoming a very huge problem, especially for this Bishop of Enugu? Father Mbaka has been, uh, has gone through so many, I mean, I don't want to use certain words under this Bishop. He doesn't really like or accept this idea of having adoration. Probably uh, not from other priests, but maybe because Mbaka has been sending out prophecies and statements that he doesn't find very, he, he's not at home with. And he might be some kind of afraid that other priests might throw that part and he doesn't want to have uh, all this, well, I mean, is watering of uh, uh, adoration ministries here and there under his uh, uh, diocese. So he wants to prevent it now by asking them, don't even start with a crusade. Don't even uh, do anything. Just go to the normal center where everybody goes, pray there, and let the people go home. So that is what is going on. I don't know if all this is coming out because of uh, Father Mbaka's uh, adoration ministry. I don't know. Let's see. He says, um, he said also that um, they should not adopt the Pentecostal approach of service and be careful in forming prayer 
groups he charged. The Pentecostal approach of service could be the adoration of uh, Ejikem Baka kind of uh, prayer service that he's talking about. But I think the Catholic Church, once a priest is involved, whether you call it Pentecostal approach or not, the Mass is central to Catholic worship. And it does happen before they do any other kind of adoration or crusade. Even in some cases, if it takes longer hours, they will even say the Mass two or three times or even more, especially at the beginning and at the end. But the bishop is uh, strongly kicking against it. And I am beginning to wonder what is eventually going to happen when Father Mbaka returns from his uh, pilgrimage, sort of, in the monastery. Is he ever going to run the adoration ministry again? And above all, when is that going to be? Nobody knows, but if you read between the lines and look carefully at what the Bishop Onaga of Enug Diocese is saying, I think there's a lot more hills to be leveled before Mbaka could go back to his adoration ministry and bring it to the level it was before he left. He admonished the newly ordained priest also to seek spiritual holiness and avoid being dragged into secular affairs. I mean, his statement is filled with references. You can, you can draw the conclusions yourself. Earlier, the director of the seminary, Reverend Father Stanislaus on Onodugo said, that the seminary was the brainchild of Bishop of Enugu, his lordship, Geoffrey Okoye, of blessed memory, as far back as 1972. He stated that since 1972, priests and lay persons that went through the seminary had graduated into reputable personalities. Today, the seminary can boast of at least one bishop who was among the second set to study in this seminary, and that is Bishop Onaga. So Onaga, the Bishop of Enugu, is actually talking about his alma mater, like he mentioned. We're also celebrating the grand finale of our Golden Jubilee, which started since June 27. Today, our dear Bishop raised 26 deacons to the order of priesthood. And we are happy that such event is happening in our time, Onodugo said. The question here is, the Catholic Church in Nigeria, what is their plans? Where are they going? Where are they heading to? Because he's kicking against Pentecostal type of service, but the Catholics, some of them are trooping to Pentecostal churches. Is uh, Bishop Onaga uh, following the right path? Who knows? Right, that's uh, the latest. And I will ask you please to like this video, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Keep an eye on this channel because we will bring you latest updates from the Diocese of Enugu and Fadambaka. See you in our next video.